African moment is a global moment where climate action is actually green growth. It is my hope and prayer that out of the cradle of mankind comes the all-time elusive solution to combating climate change. African-led solutions to decarbonize and steer a low carbon development pathway for the globe. Allow me to take this opportunity to commend President Dr. William Ruto for his exceptional leadership of the Committee of African Heads of State and the Government on Climate Change. The convening of this important summit is both timely and opportune at the theme driving green growth and climate finance solution for Africa and the world is quite befitting. We also strongly urge multilateral financial institutions to undergo a serious reform that fits for purpose for the needs and circumstances of developing uh, countries that, rather than fueling the historical debt accumulated on the shoulders of developing countries and mainly Africa. I am deeply honored to participate in this discussion. This summit is a crucial step to prepare the upcoming COP28 meeting and to make sure that Africa's voice resonates around the world and that Africa's priorities as a continent that is most affected by climate change are duly taken on board. Your participation is a clear demonstration of our unwavering commitment to collectively shape the future of climate change, climate action in Africa and across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all gathered here at the Africa Climate Summit because we are facing a pivotal moment with a growing urgent threat that transcends national borders, races, and social class, the climate crisis. As leaders, it is our duty to ensure the security and well-being of our people. But the rapidly changing climate threatens the very fabric of our societies, and its impacts are not waiting for anyone. It's, it's our time as Africa to take the lead. Uh, for the longest time, um, climate change has been put in the back burner. It's not been talked about as much. And Africa is the one who's feeling the most effects of this climate change that we're experiencing. So I think this is an important summit, the inaugural summit of the African Climate Summit. It's very, very important to flex our muscles so that we become an, a, a, a leading voice. At the moment, we are not a leading voice. In fact, our voice is drowned out. We need to be able to elevate ourselves and our leadership and our civil society organizations so that it takes its rightful place. I think we are improving, but I think there's lots of work still to be done. We, we really suffer uh, the brunt and the effects and impacts of climate change. And with the help of uh, great green climate funds or funds from uh, uh, the developed countries or other interventions that can be done, then Africa will be able to uh, deal with its uh, impacts deal with the, with the, with the, uh, imp, uh, with the climate change uh, effects and then be able to, to uh, put their infrastructure in a climate smart uh, uh, way so that these this, uh, effects of climate change are going not to really uh, incapacitate the way they operate but we are going to be able to adapt and to, to take cognizance of the climate impacts that come along. This year was worse than last year, last year was better than this year. This year will be better than next year and the year after. That is what we are looking at if you want to be realistic and honest with the evidence we're facing. So there's nothing to prevent us from speeding up but us, ourselves. This is a human-made problem. It's subject to a human solution.
and we all know what that solution is. Stop polluting with greenhouse gases and start building out the renewables, the alternative energy, all the technologies that will make life safer, healthier, much cleaner, and in the long run, much more prosperous than it is today. Let us go home satisfied with a job very well done. Proud of our progress we have made and eager to embark on the next phase of our transformation everywhere on our continent. Thank you.